Masks. They hide our faces. They hide our fears. The Oracle Cassandra wore a mask to hide her shame. She knew what the future held, and nobody believed her. They thought she was a joke. And when disaster struck, just like she foretold, they blamed her. But they still didn't heed her warnings. Even as they washed away the ashes and blood of their ruin, they laughed at her. <laughs> and what's so funny about that? My little girl? A cop? I resubmit the question, Dad. Barbara, be serious. I didn't put you through college so you could walk a beat. You didn't put me through college. My scholarships did. Still... And what's a detective do? He searches for information. A detective, is it? You don't even meet the minimum height requirements. Oh, fine! <laughs> Where are you going? You're the detective. You figure it out. One cop in the family is enough. I won't let my daughter become a cop. You hear me, Barbara? Ugh. I have to find another path. Find my own future, one uniquely mine. To Dad, I'm all talk about digging for information. I want to be in the action. Anything that'll get me out of where I am. Miss Gordon? Yes, Donald? Um, uh, the writings of Epictetus uh, go under classical or Roman history. Donald, you know those books go in the philosophy stacks. If you want to ask me out, then ask me out. Well, I, uh, um... I have to escape a destiny I can see scrolling out in front of me in paralyzing tedium. I need something physical. Something with an edge to it. Come on. Try and take me. I'm not sure, Mr. Parsons. Call me Dragon Cat. Come on. Show the class. Prove me wrong. Show me you belong in this class. Because I don't think you can cut it. I... What was that? Did you say you're weak? Did you say you're small? I'm scared. I knew it! See, class, you have to want it really bad. And Babsy here just showed us she doesn't want it bad. Dad thinks I'm too short. My sensei thinks I'm too girly. Let them underestimate me. <laughs> You're breaking my arm! Let me go! Oh, I don't know, Dragon Cat. I'm not sure you want it bad enough. Very impressive, Miss Gordon. But what are my chances, Agent Boyle? I, I understand I need a law degree. I've taken pre-law and... Yes, yes. For such a young woman, you have an extensive academic career. I see your area of expertise is information gathering. Very helpful for an FBI agent. Uh, I want to do more than clerical work, sir. I was hoping to be a field agent. Well, then I'm afraid you'll also have some growing to do. You don't meet our minimum height requirements. Let them think they have the upper hand over the little girl. And when their guard is down and their pride is rising, let me kick their butts up around their ears, with or without two-inch heels. That would have ended the fight three minutes ago, but he wouldn't be having fun. I never wanted to be Batman. I made this silly get up to rankle Dad. It's a joke at his expense. Truth to tell, when it comes to inspiration, I side with fishnets over leather. After all, he isn't the only game in town. Not that Dad would approve anyway. Despite his unconventional partnership with an urban legend, Dad's pretty vocal about his mistrust of masks and costumes. Uniforms, costumes, the clothes we wear over who we really are or really want to be. So you're saying it's possible, Murph? Uh, possible, yes. Ethical, <laughs> no. Murph, forget we had this conversation, and you can keep that dog-eared copy of Lady Chatterley's Lover. Ah, done and done. We're now live to Somerset Slaughter Swamp Wetlands, where the Justice Society- Gotta go, Dad! Go? Go where? It's 11.15. Uh, I've got a late martial arts class. At 11.15? It's a 24-hour dojo, Dad. The latest thing. I count all six active Justice Society members on the newscast battling Solomon Grundy. Again. The jog to their headquarters is less than six minutes. Four if I really push it. And I do. Dad's override code defeats the security grid. Hello? I shut down the motion detectors. I turn off the laser matrices. I leave the cameras on. I want to be seen. I want to be heard. 
I want my presence known. I see grappling hooks in my future. My fate, which I leave in the hands of strangers. Old gods who still believe in old tricks. I wager my destiny on new tricks. Unless I amend the course, the Justice Society of America will believe that Police Captain James W. Gordon entered their headquarters at 1119 on this night. I can't let that happen. So I shut down the Gotham power grid and their block for three full minutes. In theory, the JSA security system backup will kick in, relock all the doors, and scramble all the present access codes, wiping the slate clean. Tomorrow, everyone will be issued new security numbers. In theory, I get rid of the evidence nevertheless. But didn't you just buy a new computer last April? Upgrade or die, Dad. Late dojo. Gotta go. Don't wait up. They call them mystery men. Women, too, but never as many. You the valuable asset? Um, yes? Speak up, girly. What do you want with the canary, kid? And what's with the mask? You, you wear one. Yeah, well, I ain't got a pretty mug like you, Green Eyes. You want to explain why you went to so much trouble to deliver this little fan letter? I was hoping you'd forward it. The Society ain't a messenger service, Green Eyes. Canary's got another engagement, and I'm pretty sure she ain't in the market for apprentices. This life ain't for you, Green Eyes. So what do you see for Green Eyes, Doc? I see triumph and tragedy. They treat me like some delusional little girl. I believe it, too. I see what they see as providence for a while. No dates, Babs? No. Late night karate? Uh-uh. Uh, your new computer? It's fine. Maybe it's depression. Maybe it's resignation. <clears throat> uh... Uh, about what you said last week? Or maybe it's something else. Something deeper. And I'm not finding much help changing my mood. I can't get away from all the masks and costumes and capes. Who gave them the right to turn me away? What credentials do they have? Barbara, I'm worried about you. Me? Except for going to work, you haven't been out of the house for weeks. So? You have no social life. Like you do? <laughs> I'm a cop. Oh, that's right. And I'm not a cop. D don't start that again. What's this? An invitation to a party. Dinner, dancing, boys. At least think about it. Okay, Dad. It's very popular with all those stories in the paper. Uh, I'm not sure. Is that what the Batman is supposed to look like? Uh, who knows? Right. Who knows? I got Superman. No thanks. Wonder Woman? Please. Is this how they do it? Masked vigilantes. One stitch at a time until the costume makes you into your future. Well, what do you think? Huh? The Sultan or the Cowboy? Uh, they're both great. The Sultan isn't too, uh, silly? Cops can be relentless, you know. <laughs> It's fun, Dad. Oh, you're making your own costume? Yes. Can I see? Not until it's finished. Oh, all right. Let it be a surprise, then. Yep, a big surprise. The Million Dollar Masquerade is the big event in the city. They'll stop holding it after this. But the evening will start out well. I'll be caught up in the glamour. I'll almost forget the reason I'm here. I can't find Dad in the crowd at first. Everyone is here. Politicians, celebrities, and billionaire wasteoids like Bruce Wayne, who will become the life of the party in ways he can't possibly forecast. I finally find Dad, and I'm ready to spring my surprise. How will he react? Will he be angry with me for dressing up as his secret pal? Will he see how wrong it is to underestimate me? That's what I'll hope for anyway. But I won't get the chance. Hmm. Well, that's some costume. What? And you do so much for it. Hi, J. Devlin Davenport. And you are? Not interested, Tiger. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention. <laughs> Another great outfit. <laughs> I am Killer Moth. And I'm not here to hurt anyone. 
As long as you do what I say. All I want is Mr. Bruce Wayne. Then me and my friends are gone. Hold still. This'll only sting a little. <laughs> that bug man's a scream. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! Nobody laughs at Killer Mom. That's enough. Lay down the guns. Good night, cop. Run, Mr. Wayne! The future is only the beginning. Of another journal chronicling the adventures of the knight and squire in my care. While the master maintains the ruse that is Bruce Wayne at a Gotham police function, I mind the manor. Master Richard has only just returned from an enterprise with his fellow teen titans. Has turned this annual charity event into a hostage crisis. A handful of off-duty GCPD officers try their best to cordon off the Bristol Country Club where periodic gunfire... Whoa. Eyewitnesses claim that masked gunmen are now in pursuit of a young costumed woman in attendance. Things will go well enough at the beginning. You're dead, Chicky. It's the killing jar for you. What do I know about hostage situations? Alfred. Pick up Alfred. Sir? Are you watching the news? Indeed I am, Master Bruce, and I find it most distressing. I fear we may require a bigger cave. Ah! I'll have to get in close. Too close for him to use his wacky gun. Without it, he'll be just another goof in a silly mask. You're cocoon, babe! Stupid mask! You picked the wrong costume, girl! I'm not fooling around anymore! The moth is changing, do you hear? The moth is... changing! I will not let that happen. Dressed as a bat, a silly joke upon my father, I will also take flight. There will be ashes. There will be blood. I can't change the outcome. I can become something more. Something higher. And out of the shell I once was, I'll emerge better. I'll be lifted up with new wings. Like a moth. Or a bat. But like a blind bat. I won't even see this coming. I'll see him going. Laughing at me like all the rest. I think he went this way. And then, I'll run and hide, just like some scared little girl, afraid of the dark. And what are you supposed to be? I asked you a question. I'm... I'm... I can handle her, Batman. Robin, no. She's just a girl. Really? Little twerp in short pants thinks I'm a walkover. He's got a lot to learn. But I'm not going to let these two push me around. Hey! <laughs> what am uh. I? What are you guys? You show me your license to wear masks and act tough. This is no game. You have no right to wear that symbol. And you do? This just gets better and better. I get to kill Batman, Robin, and Batgirl all in the same night. My rep is made, boys! Made! Cops are coming, kill him off. Get us out of here. And so it became official. Now, I am Batgirl. And I can already see that I'll never be comfortable with the name. I'd have preferred that woman. Too late to change it now. My present just caught up with the future. Who was she? Is she all right? The girl disappeared. But we'll be seeing her again. <laughs> I hope so. I hope so? The boy wonder has a crush on me? Ew. At least he's grown a few inches. As far as Captain James Gordon will be concerned, mopey daughter Barbara bailed on the policeman's masquerade. Her alibi will read thus. Barbara likened the potential masquerade ball experience to sticking herself with red-hot needles. Having turned in early, Barbara slept comfortably in the security of her own home until she was rudely awakened by an officer of Gotham's finest. Or something. Hold on! Central, this is Bard. Somebody better tell the captain that his daughter's not... Whoa. Uh, <laughs> negative on that, Central. Uh, please inform him that Miss Gordon is safe and sound. Problem, Officer Bard? Only that you still don't call me Jason, Babs. <laughs> I don't call you at all. And that's the problem. My father, he's... Just fine. Uh, working on rounding up that killer moth nutball. He could be hiding on this block. Listen, Babs, if uh, you're scared, I could come in for a cup of coffee until the captain... Uh, scared? 
Far from it, Officer Bard. In fact, I'm pretty exhilarated. I could do this all night. Must be all the bat endorphins pumping. <laughs> Good one. Barbara, wake up. What? I know it's Saturday, but you don't have to sleep the day away. Oh, gosh. I, I didn't feel well last night. I'm sorry I skipped the masquerade. Oh, you missed quite a shindig. Yeah? How so? Well, Killer Moth KO'd me and tried to make off with Bruce Wayne as a hostage. Some girl in a scary costume saved the day. Or so I'm told I was unconscious during the good parts. You're okay, Dad? Hmm, I see that old trellis is holding up well enough. Glad I nailed it down tight back when you ignored your midnight curfew. Last thing I needed was my daughter risking her neck to put a burr in the old man's breeches. Is that a hint, Dad? Or are you still gathering evidence? You got five minutes, Bugface. Don't waste them. I was hoping for something more private, Tony. You said we had business. This is where I do business. And it's Mr. Bressy to you, Bugface. You have quite the setup here, Mr. Bressy. Lots of goods, volume, high profit margins. But it's a house built on sand. You could pay off the cops, sure. But what about this new crowd of do-gooders? These vigilantes and superheroes? Who's gonna cover for you there? You. Right. Killer Moth. And uh, how's that work? With this. A moth lantern. Those mass crumbs come around and you shine this into the sky. I show up with all the firepower you need. I shine this lantern and you see it? Me or one of my people. And every cop from Bristol to Bloodhaven. You're offering me protection? I am protection. I saw you on TV, Bugface. Some chippy beat you silly. You'll need me someday. I'll take my chances. Vince, Jackie. Take your nightlight with you. You will be sorry. Show you that you need Killer Moth. Somehow. We're here. Look, I gave up the smokes. If I have a heart attack now, it'll be on your cowl. Any leads on Killer Moth? You and I need some sort of hotline. This waiting until dark business is silly. I bet you were expecting three of us tonight. Right, Captain? No, lad. Ow. No, I'm still getting used to just the two of you. Frankly, Robin, I wish you were home somewhere doing your homework and dreaming about pretty girls. Is that why you called us here, Jim? To send a message? The usual snitches haven't spotted the moth. I'm hoping you gentlemen might net him before he actually hurts someone. We'll see to it. And Jim... I have nothing to do with the girl. She has her own agenda. I didn't see the third guy. He must be the wheelman. Should have seen him. Dumb, Barbara, dumb. Still time to correct my mistake. Good thing I've been in here before. Time this right, and it's score one for Batgirl. Second off, and it's shopkeepers and weird girl found slain. Clean up in aisle three. Phew. That was too close. Way too close. She saved our lives. She took those guys down. Bam! And so you have it. Another tale of violent vigilantism added to the mass mythology of Gotham after dark. This time, witnesses claim to have seen a female crime fighter. Mass hysteria or some misguided and disturbed citizen. You be the judge. This is Roy Raymond Jr. for Crime Beat. Damn it! It's that bat girl. One bat bum wasn't enough, now there's two plus the brat. How am I supposed to prove I can provide protection to this town's underworld when the damn bats keep multiplying? I mean, what could go wrong next? At this hour? Yeah, what is it? You Cameron Van Cleer? That's me. We want. We want Mr. Bressy's money. You're in hock to tough Tony for 500 large. No! Uh, and don't bother reaching for the checkbook, Mr. Van Cleer. Hey, come on! We got enough of your kited checks to wallpaper a house. This is strictly a demonstration. Pony up, rich boy, or we'll be back! First that panty-waist killer bug, and now this guy. I 
could have had the money, been clear of debt, if not for that girl, that damn girl! And her damn fool ideas. The cost of this flight of fancy alone will no doubt bankrupt Barbara Gordon, underpaid librarian and potential defaulter of student loans. I bet Batman's rich. How else could a crime fighter afford all this stuff? God bless policeman's discount. I'll have to hold off on the mini laser and two-way wrist radio receiver. Some items might be well worth a little overtime pay, though. What the hell am I getting myself into? The building closes in 20 minutes, miss. More than I need. I can do this. Goggles down. We're not voyeurs. If I can do this, then I'll be right up here with them. Not just slugging it out with muggers and lowlifes knocking over bodegas and liquor stores. How hard can it be, really? Bet you my trust fund she doesn't go through with it. You lost that wager before she even entered Wayne Tower. She's already making the leap. It's the fall that'll kill her. This may be the dumbest thing I've ever done. Grand Avenue rushes up to meet me. I'm breathless. I'm terrified. I'm happier than I've ever been. For a few seconds. It's two-ton test line. No way it broke with my measly 110 pounds. Someone cut it. Not that it's gonna make any difference when I hit the sidewalk. I'm seeing pretty clearly that I should have bought a bungee. I have you! Ugh. Where'd you come from? Did you see who cut my line? Uh, Batman cut it. Hang on, I'm... Batman? Ugh. I'm in the grip of gravity again. Now I can hear the horns of the taxis on the street. What am I doing here? Big bad bat cuts my line, then saves me. Is this some kind of test? I told you before, I don't need your permission to do this. What's the idea of the near-death experience? You were at terminal velocity. That jump line you were using has no give. It would have sliced your fingers off or pulled your arms from their sockets. That girl doesn't know that. She's new at this. Don't call her that. Don't ever call her that again. He's strict. Yes. Thanks for trying to save my life anyway. Why don't you go easy? As I feared, your little secret society is growing. An English accent? Will the young lady be staying for dinner? No. Batman and Robin? And Jeeves? You think it was okay bringing her here? Yes. Here? Where here? I just hope you're right. Welcome to our lair. I was right. Batman is rich. Possibly a little crazy. Talk about taking a theme too far. <laughs> wow. You really don't mess around. This is serious for you. Who are you? Jeez Louise, is that a Cray mainframe? I said, who are you? Who am I? Who are you? And what is this place? Some retro bomb shelter? Where the heck did you bring me? Hey! Ow! Try anything. I swear I'll scream. Watch her. Going back out? This city doesn't protect itself. Make sure she doesn't touch anything. Looks like you and I get to hold the fort, bad girl. Help you up? I can do it myself. Your herbal tea and the liniment you requested for your strange shoulder? Catching up on all the primetime television you forfeit during these nocturnal traipsings? Oh, I see. We can now add voyeurism to the roster of personal psychoses you refuse to address. Not now, Alfred. I will admit my complicity in young Master Richard's involvement in this bit of family enterprise, but I will not condone nor remain silent while you engage in open recruitment and enable other young vigilantes. And just what do you call this morality play unfolding beneath us? It's a classic. Good cop, bad cop. And I trust that Master Richard is the good cop? Why else do you think he wears the bright colors? Hydrogen-fueled power generator. Okay. And it's all environmentally friendly, too. Oh, the big bird definitely soars. But I kind of prefer the whirly bats. <laughs> now that's flying by the seat of your pants. This place is outfitted for war. A war on crime. Seriously, thanks. I'm just stalking muggers and two-bit hold-up guys. These guys are hunting the real monsters. 
alphabetized, identified, and cross-referenced according to penchant, predilection, or power. This single library of larceny shames just about every other law enforcement database on the planet. This clown's no joke. If you see him, I'll run the other way. Who are these guys? Like a shooting gallery, except with rubber rounds and paint pellets to simulate hits. Occasionally stun gun darts, too. But those are harder to dodge. If I could, uh, trust you to be good, you might try it out. Maybe show me if you've really got the stuff to do what we do? I may surprise you, Pixie Boots. Okay, then. Oh, but this is just between you and me, okay? But if the big guy knew I was doing this, he'd have my hash. Orders are orders. We have rules down here. Now what? Wow. Nothing like the pistol range at the police academy. This is more akin to a Hollywood soundstage. What kind of money did they sink into this? Fire exercise? How crazy are these guys? <laughs> Pretty damn crazy. Imagine tossing an unarmed woman into this role-playing death trap. But I'm not just any woman. I'm Jim Gordon's little girl! Very nice. I think you get your diploma. Really? <laughs> well, how's my <laughs> postgraduate work? I wouldn't grade you as high as my partner. Yeah, well, I have a few words for you, too. <laughs> I don't think you passed. I <laughs> survived, didn't I? That's not enough. You used lethal force against your last opponents. We don't do that. We don't kill even to defend ourselves. Was I supposed to let your paper dolls shoot me? What would that have proved? Only that you could be one of us. It wasn't a fair test. She didn't have any of the gear we use. I don't need all these toys. I'm strong enough and smart enough for anything you throw at me. Then answer one question. Why? Well, I... I... I thought so. This isn't a game. Time to go home, little girl. Is that it? I failed the final because I can't tell you in 50 words or less why I want to do this? You may have all the tools of the trade, but you don't have a monopoly on wanting to help. I'll tell you why, you big scary goon. Because I can. I can see Gotham's future. And without people like you and, and Pixie Boots and me, this place doesn't have much to look forward to. So go ahead and gas me with your handy knockout spray. I'll still feel the same way when I... Wait... Curious how the role of bad cop is so easily ceded to the understudy. Where... where am I? Oh no... no, no, no! They know! They know where I live, they know who I am! World's greatest detective, ha! <laughs> The obvious sometimes eludes even him, lad. And you say you knew it from the start? Yeah, the red hair. That cute little burst of freckles across the bridge of her nose. Cow or no cow? I'd recognize Captain Gordon's daughter anywhere. More computer stuff? Uh, looks like it. Yeah. It must be my, um, memory upgrade. You know, RAM, ROM, bits, and bytes. <laughs> That's it, Babsy. Baffle the antiquated chief of detectives with techno jargon. He'll no doubt dismiss your blushing also. Yep. No way he'll even begin to surmise that his prim and proper daughter spent the better part of last night in the company of dark strangers in some bat cave. That's right, Dad. Just assume that your little librarian is just ordering hopelessly boring geek items through the mail. Hardware, software, test prep materials. Everything I need for the makeup exam. Oh, here's the profile. Cameron Van Cleer, white male, early to middle 30s, and independently wealthy. When he's not in Blackgate, I figure him to hang with a more enlightened crowd befitting his station in life. Why is a bat so much cooler than a moth? 
They're the reason I get no respect. Uh-huh. They really get to you, huh? Sure. I thought up this sweet racket, and they... What kind of racket? What's the angle? The bat watches over straight citizens. He does what the cops can't do. What about the crooks? Who do they turn to in order to get the job done for them? You. Damn straight. Killer moth. Protector of the not-so-innocent. I have all the cool stuff. A hideout, the mothmobile, the mothcopter. A mothmobile. And all I wanted was a little teensy piece of the action. A protection racket for hoods? Why not? Straight taxes pay the cops. That's protection. Sure. Now it's all down the tubes. My cool stuff. My gang. We've already established that he employs an Armani army. He must feel pretty smug with them fluttering all around him and hanging on his every word. It's those kids. That's what's different. He's got sidekicks. Maybe if I got a couple of punk kids, picked them up off the street and taught them what I know. Moth boy or Lepidoptera lad or... Brainstorm. A brainstorm! I can raise them tough. Kick those snot-nosed brats in the next week. Still plenty of work for you guys. I mean, kids work cheap, right? It's time I let you guys see my hideout. Let's go to the cocoon and get busy. I have lots of ideas. Soon as the outfits start paying up, we'll get us a moth jet, maybe a moth boat. Why not just pull a score, Cam? That's for chumps. Let them do the heavy lifting. Wait till you see the cocoon. I put a lot of cash into that place. Uh, take a right off the bridge onto Canal North. The shot is set up. Where's Linz? Haven't know, seen him, Bob. Not around. We'll find him. We're over budget now. OK. okay. Linz? Garfield? Um, we need you on the set. Oh, Toby is freaking and... Tell him I'll be there. Ooh, that dude is intense. Where have you been? Busy. Busy making my special effects more special? Yeah. You know what I want. We pick up right after Tracy's car has crashed into the drums. Sure, sure. I do a slow roll up on Tracy while number two picks up the mobsters. Hmm, got it. <laughs> Everyone to place says we're wasting moonlight! I checked the wiring. We're all set, Gar. Good. But you got a lot of jelly out there. You, you sure the blast? When I need a guy fresh out of film school to tell me my business, I'll retire, okay? I'm not sure, Gar. Just asking. Ready to roll. Stars on their marks. And everyone else off. Pick on a poor, defenseless woman, will ya? She's the only witness to us off in Jimmy C. Copper! <laughs> She's burning! Call an ambulance! My god! I told you it was too much fuel, Gar. This is horrible. Horrible. I have a computer and a fax machine and a shooting range. All state of the art. You guys are gonna love this. Foreclosure? Enough of this bull. Where are you guys I'm going? Waste of time. This is a mistake! Guys, hold on! I can imagine him right now, basking in his cozy secret headquarters. Moths like warmth, right? So I'm alone. Big deal. The moth needs no one. Undaunted, unafraid. Well, I have to get off the street. Tuh, great killer moth. Guardian of Gotham's <clears throat> underworld. Stealing from a charity box. What are we going to do? When can she come back? She's got burns over 80% of her body. Lens? Yeah? What the hell were you thinking? Where did it say blow up the lead? It says spectacular explosion. Spectacular, yes! Deadly, no! You got it all on film? Four cameras, but it's all useless. So, uh, what are you gonna do with the footage? My god, you want it! Get out. Get out, you sick ghoul! You're ruined in this business, Linz! Finished! It's time for a change in my modus operandi. I wanted to be a hero to the Gotham mobs. How stupid am I? I want to work for the gangs like an errand boy? 
That's why they don't respect me. Uh-huh. They don't see me as an equal. I'll show them. Then I'll show Batman and Robin and that smirking Batgirl. Did you say... Batgirl? But first, I need cash. Tony Bressy! We have some unfinished business. I thought I threw you out on your butt. I offered you a deal. I asked you for a cut. Now I'm taking a cut. You're taking? You got guts, butterfly. I'll hand you that. I got guts, all right. And a partner. There's a new bug in town. He's Firefly. Kill the music. No! Too much! Too much? Just supposed to scare them. Trust me. They're scared. Tony will never pay us now. You'll kill us. I want out. What happened to partners? We stick to the plan, Cameron. Plan? We're gonna take down the bats. All of the bats. You have to take chances, Cameron. You have to say what the hell every so often. Let's move this stuff to a new hideout. Then we set this town on fire. Go home and have a drink, Toby. Get some rest. <laughs> Two drinks. We'll talk about that Viking picture on Monday. Viking picture? I'm going back to sit. Gotcha, Blondie! <laughs> like it rough! They're getting away. Yell at them again or something. Way ahead of you, kid. Damn! Sorry, kid. I'm all cried out right now. This is what I get for riding off the killer moth. Come on! Watch it, kid! Whoa! Canary's bike is toast. They'll regret not scorching my ride. But to be fair, it's a loner. Something to get you back and forth on patrols. Can't expect you to make any headway swinging around on jump lines all night. Is he behind this? You're kidding, right? Now, safety first in all things. The bike's equipped with a self-destruct if you need to ditch it. Flip this and count to 20. Phosphorus charges will reduce everything to a nifty and incriminating evidence-free ash. His voice cracks just a little, though. Why is it I only attract the weird ones? That'll do, chum. She accepted the bat cycle. You should have seen her. Uh, up close, I mean. She couldn't wait to take it out for a test ride. And she still believes you're supplying her on your own. Definitely. She thinks you want her to fail. I want her to stay alive until she wises up and quits. Yeah, well, I don't see it happening anytime soon. I have no idea where I'm going, and I'm hoping they don't either. Lean into the turns, kid. Road rash I can do without. I'd like to run them both right into a tree. Back off a little. Let's see how this plays out before you get all steamed up. For the love of Pete, Scorchy! Flame on already! You broads think you're hot? Hotter than this even? Oh, fudge! You can say that again, sister. We better ditch! No way. How much do you weigh? Professional secret, girlfriend. Bad girls. Bad enough to make the bugs up ahead get desperate. As if felonious assaults and kidnapping one of the top GCPD cops wasn't desperate enough. They've got my dad. Captain James Gordon, the goody-goody who's been ratting out all the blue boys on payroll. I want you two to wear those fancy get-ups and take Gordon for a ride. How's them hands, Tony? Just do what I'm paying you to do and don't sweat the details. Consider Gordon moth-eaten. <laughs> <laughs> no respect. My place gets roasted and I have to hire these two clowns to set things right. I don't know what to tell you, Jim. Somebody's shaking down the protection rackets for protection. I hear even tough Tony Bracey's taking a hit. No mention of killer moths? Bug squat. Nobody's talking. Keep your ear to the ground, Benny. Bressy's got a short fuse, and if he's really being shaken down, I imagine he's just about ready to blow. Damn it. I forgot my coat. I'll get it, Captain. You look me up if you ever want to be a real detective, boyo. No! Oh, get out of here, boyo! Sweet lord! Hard! Can you walk, son? Your friend, he, he pushed me. 
Push me out the door. Hush, son. Let's just get you to safety and... Oh. Shut up, Gordy! What about the Flatfoot, Mothman? Let's grab the captain and head for Tony's. First, though, what do you say we kneecap, officer? Bard, is it? Ah! Pixie Boots must wear thermal underwear when he's riding one of these. What I still can't figure out is why he's going to so much trouble to help me. All you Mr. Schwartz and Heck, bomb and tax squad scramble. Be advised that Captain Gordon is possible hostage of Killer Moth and Masked Associates. No, this isn't happening. My dad? Can you sit me down close to the action? I can come with, pretty bird. Uh-uh. You're on monitor duty, Bowman. Besides, you need practice on accessing the League mainframe's memory banks. So how's about scrambling my atoms already? Is that a dirty innuendo? Or just wishful thinking on my part? Keep it in the quiver, Ollie. I told you I'm in this relationship for the long haul. Not just the passionate fireworks. Officers, I'm the Black Canary. These are my Justice League credentials. I'm here to- oh! Cops and firefighters and paramedics are too busy with the broad and hot pants to notice me. Officer Bard? Told you. Call me Jason. Jason, listen closely. I know you're in a lot of pain, but I need to know what happened to my dad. Moth. Another guy. They firebomb lances. Took Captain. Tough Tony's greenhouse, they said. Thanks, Jason. I'll find him. You? You're one of his gang? Um, yeah. I'm new. Batgirl. Well, Batgirl, I'm assuming you got a lead from that handsome young cop. So hustle up your bat wheels and let's roll. That little bat brat. Still carrying a torch for her, I see. I'd rather burn them, Firefly. Killer Moth and another thug. They've abducted Captain Gordon, and I think I know where they're headed. Do you see those costumes? Somebody's stealing our shtick. Just keep tailing them, Cam. Take this, you hear? I can't drive and shoot. Right. Come on, kid. Time to take a powder. That better not be one of your dingy girlfriends, Rhonda. Hustle up, Firebug. They gotta be hot on our tails. You idiots. Wait a second. Who's hot on your tails? Tony, sweetie, these ain't my girlfriends! Do me a favor, kiddo. Name it. Promise me we won't ever make this little partnership a regular thing. Done. The Black Canary and I thought we were just following Killer Moth and Firefly to where my dad was being held captive, but we were following fakes, and the real Psycho Bug twins were following us. Hold them off while I free my... Uh, Captain Gordon! We'll have you out of here in a second, sir. Who, who are you? Nobody takes my shtick. Cross the Firefly, and you bird. Using my name and gags to build a rep, huh? Pretty lame imitation, Faker. Um, uh, I think you were trying to do this. We have to move, sir. Legs are numb. I can't walk. Help me! Why should I? Do it! The phony Firefly! This fuel tank is gonna... Go! Well, didn't this evening turn into a train wreck? You'd better vanish, Batgirl. Guess you're right, Canary. Look at my house. This is your mess, Bressy. We just stumbled into it. We might even have saved your life. You can't prove nothing. I'll just say you and your freak pals busted in on me and... I'm not looking forward to the long walk home. But the bike's scrap metal, and I can't afford to leave any bat evidence lying around. It's bad enough that Batgirl and Dad have had two close encounters. Pretty soon it'll be 20 and... 20. Pixie Boots said to count to 20. Wake up, Barbara, or you'll be emulating right alongside what's left of your fancy bat cycle. Quit worrying so much. You're playing in the big leagues now. Pretty bird? Maybe after a long, hot shower. My feathers are a little singed, Mr. Queen. Why didn't you signal for assistance? We had everything under control. We? Bats was there to mix it up with you? I thought he... Not bad man. Bad girl. 
Seems our resident Dark Knight is in a family way. I don't get it. What happened to the other kid? I'm afraid it's just me tonight, Captain Gordon. Where's the fire? Under control, lad. False alarm, really. I was hoping to have a little chat with your partner. Would you believe he's in Tibet? Burning the candle at both ends a lot these days, isn't he? I think he'd prefer to call it multitasking. Not recruiting new help? Expanding the franchise, so to speak? And have to worry about a bad woman or bad hound bogarting the trademark? I've had a long night, lad. Just do me a favor. Tell him to shut her down before I do. What'd you expect, Barbara? After last night, you're fortunate not to be in the burn ward of Gotham General. Count yourself lucky that only the exposed skin was seared. Lucky me. Honey? Are you okay in there? Is this a girl thing? Because if you're gonna be a while... Jeez, Dad. You act as if you've never lived with a woman before. That's because you've outlasted all the others. Daddy, your arm! It's nothing. Uh, listen, do your old man a favor and make him some nice black coffee. Great! The papers even have us confused with those second-rate idiots you... You're crazy! Am I? Maybe that's what it takes to succeed. Succeed? We nearly got killed tonight! That's your idea of success? Listen, let them think we're cremated. We hole up a while, we bide our time. Then we find this little bat girl. Nurse? It's me, Officer Bard. Barbara Gordon. Miss Gordon? How's your father? Dad's fine. A little kidnapping and assault is his idea of fun. Thought I'd stop by and check in on you. And to offer my thanks. You've got this leg saving my dad. All part of the job, right? But they say I'll be off the force on a disability. I'm sorry. It doesn't seem fair, does it? You give your all and they just put you on a shelf. I didn't give my all. Those losers still managed to take your father. But it all turned out all right. He's safe and you're... I'm what? About to embark on a whole new career. You're right. Yep. Maybe I'll become a movie star. Or try my hand at pro ball. <laughs> Barbara? Dad? Keeping Officer Bard company? Well, I... Uh, I've gotta go. <laughs> Good night, Jason. Donuts? Maybe some fresh air and an adrenaline fix. Anything to keep me from thinking about Jason and subject of crime-fighting careers. I'm not sure I ever intended to go full-time with this. Taking over my life anyway. No! Oh, no! No! Don't go in there! But life's what happens when you're making other plans, right? No one knows what's around the corner, except for an oracle, maybe. Oh, not the end! But just when you think you have it figured out. <coughs> oh, there has to be something happening out here tonight besides the standard slumber party massacre. I'd settle for some grade Z supervillain, the Cavalier even. Or a good old fashioned purse snatcher. That's far enough! Oh, for crying out loud. Classic. And it sends a nice feminist message. Ma'am? Wonderful. The other man in my life. Only five hours to trash your first bat cycle? How did you know? The fleet's wired to GPS sensors. Your bike went offline last night around midnight. And this is. You know him affectionately as Jeeves. He won't be speaking much. Secret identity and all that jazz. Look, I can't pay for this. I appreciated the other bike and all, but... Is that my insignia? Technically, it's a knockoff of a much bigger icon. But you're earning certain franchise privileges. Says your dad? Yes, again. No helmets this time? And miss the wind in our cows? Where are we going? We got the call back, girl. The what? Oh, the call. When I shouldn't really answer. Ever. Where are we going? What's the rush? Hostage situation, Midtown Station. Uh, don't have to shout. You're wired. Nobody move. He calls himself the Condiment King. Huh? Back off if you don't want the works. Oh. Ah! Damn. You're really kind of hard on the equipment. 
We did 80 across a crowded subway platform for him? No. There's a real hostage crisis on the D train. You're enjoying this. Crime fighting? Sure. I meant humiliating me. <laughs> now you're laughing? I thought you were mad. The condiment king. Really. He could have been dangerous. I mean, who'd think a guy named the Penguin could be trouble? <laughs> maybe you're not serious enough about this, bad girl. And maybe you're too... <clears throat> Do you have the shot? Give me just a sec. Take the shot if you have it. He's a monster. Would you look at the size of this guy? Just take him down, Pettit. <clears throat> no shot, Captain. Orders. Grab your gear and haul tail to Grandinetti Terminal. Hey! Make way, officers! Great. The cops! Follow my lead, okay? And watch out for that third rail. You'll find it rather shocking. Oh, I don't think I'll find anything as shocking as what you just did, Pixie Boots. Yeah, uh, Captain. It looks like the bats are already on the scene. Batman and Robin? Well, you're half right. Let me go in first and soften him up. If he sees you, he's liable to go berserk. No way, Robin. We're in this together. You don't understand. It's more than a blockbuster. And he really, really doesn't like that. Smash you all! You first! Hey, Chiefs, got your ears on, good buddy? I am indeed, as you say, wired for sound. I trust the young lady is enjoying your outing. She's... Just fine, Chiefs. Thanks for asking. Uh, you are most welcome, Miss... Bad girl. Can you get us off the main line, Alf? Uh, Jeeves? Most assuredly. Tread carefully, lad and lass. I'll go in first. And this isn't a ride-along, boy wonder. What's that supposed to mean? It means I can take care of myself. You don't know what you're getting into. Okay, maybe it's stupid, but I'm tired of everything being his idea. Answering the signal, chasing this train, kissing me. But I want to show some initiative, even if it means blowing the bat by the budget for the year. Huh? What makes noise? Who there? Hi, handsome. Moses? Ah! Me make bad woman hurt. Hurt bad. Where's the boy Smoocher? Let's go. Make your way to the back of the train. Ah! Little bat woman. <laughs> little head. Tiny, teeny little bat woman. <laughs> oh. Don't die yet! <gasps> Never thought the air in a Gotham subway could be so sweet. I've got you! <sighs> You're staring at me. Sorry. Here it comes. Everybody ready? He's up here, Captain. Out cold as a mackerel. The bat creeps me right out. But this little red riding hood is red. Captain Gordon, Vicki Vale, WGBC Action News. What can you tell our viewers about tonight's subway standoff? Red. Red. He's on to me. I can't fault this guy for trying, but he's young and reckless and, and totally not my type. Oh, Dad, no. You didn't. We need to talk. Right now. Calm. Deep breaths. Don't move. Don't react. Don't freak. Don't shoot your mouth off. Gordon here. What is it? Dad! How could you? Not now, Barbara. Just stay here. My room! That's it. Show him where that red hair comes from. By fire with fire, Daddy. I'm so sorry. You left me with no alternative. They left me with no alternative. Like Cassandra, I keep looking to the future. And all I see is ashes and blood. Cameron Van Clear and Garfield Linz. Killer Moth and Firefly. One's a hyperactive goofball, but the other one? Um, uh, this place is burning down, Gar! I know. Isn't it beautiful? Can't you smell the bacon frying? Ha! Those stupid cops will never laugh at us again, Moth. Never again. Uh, but shouldn't we be leaving? And miss this beautiful blaze? All those snitch jackets and mug shots and... It's great! It really is! 
Let's get a look from the sky, okay? I like the way you think, Moth. Sure. Someone has to stop them right now. And tonight, there's only me. The girl. Who? The bad girl. Forget her! We have to go! Pilot, we have an uninvited guest. Where? On the ladder. Shake her off! Will do, boss. Now I know how a bug on a windshield feels. Admit it, Moth. You're enjoying yourself. <laughs> Look at her. So pretty and helpless. We got trouble. Cops? Worse. Wonderful. Here he comes to remind me that this is his city. Any ideas? Not much we can do from here. Let's see how she plays it. What's she doing? I think I see. What's she doing? How should I know? I have to get off this ride. But first, I have to slow down. Pilot, what's going on? She's moored us! Uh -huh. Damn! Something's gotta give. She's not going to... No! I sure hope I worked out the physics here. Math is hard. On the fly, at least. Break away! Get us free! The kid! We're snagged! Stories race by like fence posts on a highway. We're losing lift! We're gonna gyro! Crash position! It's been a while since I've been to the Gotham Athletic Club. I've already forgotten my monthly pass. Ah! Oh, joy. The pool is full. This... <coughs> Is all your fault, Moth. Me? <laughs> who, who wanted to burn down the <coughs> cop house? I'm sure there's enough blame to go around. Huh? No. Oh, them. Right, Bugface. It's us. I did all the work. And they'll get all the credit. It's a Batman's world, Babsy. Might as well get used to it. Witness the anticlimax of my life. My short, happy career as a crime fighter ends in both a bang and a whimper. Dad's too busy repairing the station house to talk about that thing neither of us wants to talk about. You can ignore their ravings, Mr. Mayor. Van Clear and Lynn's are certifiable. And they're both warming cells in Arkham until the district court can set a trial. So let me reiterate. There is no Batgirl. I figure it's just another crush note from Pixie Boots. Something to get my hopes up. But it's not. It's from him. I've been summoned. But why? What more is there to say? Get in. You're late. I thought it might be a trap. So, do I get the gas again? Put this on. You'll need all your wits tonight. Just a few more steps. There. Relax and do as he says. You can take off the blindfold. What is this? This is your life at this moment. This is all you have to worry about if you walk away now. And if I don't walk away? Then this is your future. If this is my future, I'm not afraid of it. Alfred, bring up the lights. Alfred? Do I pass? Will you finally acknowledge that I can do this? Will you swear an oath? Anytime and anywhere. Come with me. And then it all makes sense. The expensive toys, the time and devotion, the reason. I promise loyalty, I promise secrecy, and I promise courage. And all I ask is one small boon in return. Commissioner, I'd like to introduce an associate. A new partner under my direct supervision. That would be your cue, Miss Barbara. Thanks. Jeeves. I <laughs> think <laughs> nothing of it. Mine is merely a coaching role. Deflecting your father's suspicions falls squarely on Master Robin's thespian skills. I thought she liked me. Batman, two I'll accept, but no more. Dad, are you up here? Barbara! Of course. Who did you expect? Batgirl, huh? If you believe the hype. Well, if you ask me, Gotham could do worse. Especially with a good cop like me forced into early retirement while still in my prime. 
Shut up and paint, ex-officer Bard. Private detective firms don't open themselves. <laughs> so what about you, Babs? Have you finally given up on law enforcement? Actually, I'm giving serious thought to running for public office. Somehow, I just don't see Congresswoman Gordon in my future. Quite frankly, I don't know what to expect anymore. Sorry, Cassandra, but despite my great and abiding respect for oracles, I've decided to forgo predictions and portents. There is what could be, and there is the life I lead right now. <laughs>